Come on, you. Come on. Get up. Oh, you can't afford to be the lawyer right any longer. Get out and follow them rascally friends of yours. Good you morning. soldiers call yourselves gentlemen. But it's we who have to pay for you and keep you too, for that matter. What are you talking about? That Lieutenant Northerton escaped last night. The rest of the company went in pursuit after him. And they very conveniently left here without paying the bill. Well, how could he have escaped? His doxy arrived. A trollop called Mrs. Waters. The sentry had disappeared and she let him out. She'll soon learn what kind of a man he is. Nothing is ever good enough for sparks like him. But when it comes to paying the bill, that's another matter. Don't worry, madam. I will repay you handsomely. Ooh. Ah, sir. A nice young gentleman like yourself shouldn't want to get mixed up with them rough soldiers. It's gone. What's gone? I had a 500 pound note in my riches pocket. It's, it's gone. That's a likely story. I had 500 pounds. You never had 500 pounds. One single pounds note in your of 500 life. pounds. I had when I arrived here yesterday and it's I gone. I should have known your kind when it's you were here. It's been taken in the night. Who took it? Somebody's been in this room during the night and taken 500 pounds out of my breeches pocket. Where did you join them, Russell? Well, did you? Did you see a taken in the night? Somebody took that 500 pounds out of my breeches pocket. You lying rascal. Nor them cheating red coat friends of yours neither. Go on, take your things and get out of here quick. Go on. I'll set the dogs on you if you don't hurry up. You blackguard, robber, the lot of you and your 500 pounds. <laughs> 